back to the House of Fins. My name is Danny, and I'm going to walk you through some of the really cool things we have in this week. Alrighty, first up we have the purple tile fish. As you can see, it's no curiosity as to how this guy gets his name. You're going to find this guy throughout the Indian and Pacific Oceans. They're going to max out at around six inches. Uh, these guys are definitely a very striking and also unique addition to both your reef tanks and your fish only systems. Uh, as you can see, that purple is absolutely stunning on them and they get that blue hue uh, on their face all the way down to their, uh, to their dorsal spine. Um, they are pretty shy, so you definitely want to provide them with a deep sand bed and a lot of rock work as well so they can kind of run away and, and dive down into the sand bed and into the rock work so they can feel nice and secure. Um, they're also pretty peaceful uh, amongst other fish, but they can somewhat be pretty territorial to their own kind. Uh, albeit if they're in a big enough tank, they can get along with pretty much anyone. Uh, you can definitely get away with keeping a group of them in a big enough tank as well. Uh, so yeah, just a really, really awesome, really, really pretty option for both your fish only and reef tank system. Alrighty, next up we have something really exciting. We actually have a true pair of candy basslet. So you can see there's one little guy over there and there's another one kind of hiding in the rock rope right now as well. Um, you know, we've highlighted candy basslets before and the absurd process it takes to, to bring them into captivity. Um, but I mean, they're definitely worth highlighting, especially the fact that this is a true pair. Um, they're not necessarily sexually dimorphic, um, but you can definitely tell that they're a true pair based off the fact that they're not killing each other right now. Usually, all of the basslets can't tolerate being around each other, and especially in smaller tanks. Um, so these guys are pretty much a dead giveaway for being a true pair. And definitely, definitely, definitely an awesome addition to, uh, to your reef tanks at home. Alrighty, next up we have the McCosker's Flasher Rats. These little guys are probably my personal favorite of the Flasher Rasses, just because uh, of their little cute size, their beautiful color, and the fact that they're not going to be like a million dollars. Um, they're actually going to be one of the more affordable species out there, uh, and they definitely don't lack in color and personality. As you can see, these little guys are constantly out and about. And the awesome part of the Flasher Rasses is when they you know, literally flash to each other. So when they show off their beautiful finish towards each other, uh, either it being a threat display or mating display, um, they're gonna be a great option for your reef tanks. Like I say, always say they're very peaceful. Um, they're not gonna bother your shrimp or any of your coral. Uh, and they're definitely not gonna bother any other fish. And uh, they also um, are gonna be a really pretty centerpiece for a fish tank as well.
Alrighty, last but most certainly not least, we have possibly the greatest name in all of fish keeping, the Wonderpus Octopus. This little guy is going to be found all throughout Indonesia and Malaysia. Uh, they were recently described in 2006, um, so there's not too much known about these guys behavior-wise. Um, they're, common they're commonly mistaken uh, with the mimic octopus, which is also found in the same area as these. Um, but there are some subtle differences in you know, body shape and color uh, that people use to kind of differentiate the two. Um, although they both have the same ability of mimicry. Um, that's how these guys definitely get their popularity is because they have the ability to contort their body into different shapes to mimic that of other animals. So they can mimic things like eels and lionfish and uh, flounder. Lobster. Uh, lobsters, mantis, shrimp, uh, sea snakes. So there's definitely, definitely tons of shapes that these guys can convert themselves into to help disguise themselves and ward off any predators. Um, like I said, there's not much known about them, especially about their lifespan or their social behaviors. Um, they're definitely going to be a solitary species. Uh, they're a burrower, so they'll definitely appreciate a deep sand bed. Um, if they're anything like other octopuses, uh, their lifespan is definitely not going to be a very long one. You know, anywhere around one to two years is typically what you tend to see with these. Um, but for that time, you're getting an insanely intelligent creature. You definitely, definitely want to make sure that you're keeping them in a very secure enclosure uh, because these guys are little escape artists and they can fit through the smallest of cracks. Um, but like I said, they're just going to be an awesome, awesome interactive animal for, uh, for your tank at home. Alright everyone, thank you for tuning in for this week's video. Be sure to leave a like as well as following us on all of our social media platforms, being Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll see you next week.